So welcome to this tutorial about river meanders, pools and riffles. A river meander is a bend in the river and a river will always flow at its fastest along its thalweg, which I will show you here. On the outside bend the river flows more quickly due to uh, it having more energy. So the thalweg is there and on the outside bend the river will erode the river bank because it has most energy. Here and here and finally here. All of this will be eroded to create a new wider outside bend. But at the same time on the inside bend where the river is flowing more slowly it has less energy and if it has less energy it will deposit any load that it's carrying creating a um, slip-off slope, sometimes known as a point by here. So the river doesn't actually get wider or narrower, it just changes shape to create more distinct meanders, um, sometimes known as sinuous meanders. And I will show you a photograph of one of those later. So looking at a cross profile of the river, um, in this area here where we've got the erosion going on, you can see that the river is much deeper. We've got vertical and lateral erosion going on to create what we call a river cliff in this area here. Here we've got very fast flowing water, lots of energy making it wider and deeper. Whereas in contrast, on the inside bend here, we have a slower flow of water having a build up of bed load um, which is being deposited here to create a point bar, slip off slope. Here it's much more shallow and it's much more slow flowing. So in this uh, top diagram here we can see the meander shape really starting to form and this is a very uh, what we call sinuous shape, an S-shaped meander. Um, Erosion has continued over time on the outside bend, deposition on the inside bend. And the diagram here to the right is a really well labelled simple diagram which you can pause in the video to study more carefully. And finally, another feature of meanders is the presence of pools and riffles. Pools are simply deep areas of water on the outside bend, here, here and here and riffles are the places in between the pools and you can see them on the photograph to the right here. Um, riffles where you've got areas of white water. This is where the water is more shallow and you can see that there's probably some friction there. Now some theorists suggest that the riverbed is much more shallow here because of deposited material which makes sense. And we can see on finally on the diagram below the very shallow river here um, at the riffle point in between the meander or the outside bend where you have a pool which is much deeper.